even though I've worked here for a long time, I, I look at it differently than I ever did before since he told me this. And uh, he's probably in his late 80s now, but he called me young man, which is pretty funny, isn't it? Because I'm kind of old man. But he said, young man, do you realize that somebody was here on this location and experiencing everything that we are right now before the oldest human on earth was even born. So if you think of it, the sounds, the sights, you know, the feel, the vibration you can feel through the foundations and the smells of a working powerhouse, you know, those things. Somebody was experiencing them before anybody that lived in this day. Most things in the world change and progress and advance. And in here, it's a uh, like an oasis of, of, of the old days. Where else in the world can you go where you can experience something that has run continuously since before the oldest person on earth was even born? If, for example, you wanted some interesting mathematics, you could figure out how many revolutions or turns that machine has made in its life. It's from an environmental point of view, it should be commonplace. In British Columbia, we've got the potential to build thousands of power plants like this. And we can be sending green electricity to jurisdictions that don't have it. And that's exactly what we should be doing. But the transmission systems are